Hi everyone, welcome back to S2CS. So after a long break, I'm again back with a new video on data structure. So if you want regular videos from my side, you can comment down in my comment box. If you are a new viewer to the channel and if you feel my contents are useful for your learning, so please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video. So let's start. What all points I'm going to cover in this video? What is data structure? Classification of types of data structure? Short overview of types of data structure. So please stay tuned till the end so that you can understand each and every point clearly. Next is what is data structure? A data structure is a storage that is used to store and organize data. It is way of arranging data on a computer so that it can be accessed and managed efficiently. Data structure tells us how it is to be done instead of what is to be done. Instead of telling you what elements to be stored, it tells you how you are going to store the elements. Clear with what is data structure? Next is types of data structure. So there are two types. First is linear data structure. Second is non-linear data structure. So what all are linear data structure? Array, stack, Q and linked list. We will understand each of these terms in short. Okay. So if you want detailed videos on these structures, please comment down in my comment box. So what linear data structure is? Data elements are arranged sequentially or linearly. Okay. Not in random order, but in a proper sequence or in a proper order where previous element is connected with the next element. So that is the linear data structure. In short words, I have made you understand. So the first is array. Array is a static data structure that has a fixed memory size. Okay. It can't change. It has a fixed memory size. An array is a collection of items stored at contiguous memory locations. Now contiguous memory location, that means the locations which are adjacent to each other. Now it uses index based data structure. Okay. So what if we use index based data structure, it makes us easy to access that element. For example, if I want the element three, I will access the index location zero so that I can get the element three. Clear with the array? Second is stack. Stack data structures follow the LIFO last and first out. That is the element can be added or removed from one end only. Okay, and it also may follow philo approach first in last out. Now see how it is. Consider this as a stack of plates. What happens is if you want to add a new plate, you will be adding it at the top. Yes, here you will be adding. Similarly, if you want to remove the plate, then also you will be removing it from here and from the top. So that means at one end only you can add or you can remove. Now coming to the philo first in last out. That means if you are inserting a plate first, you can remove it at the last only. So that is the stack. See the examples also I have given files of book stack of plates. Clear with the stack? Coming to the third one, Q. Now Q follows the FIFO approach. That is first in, first out. From one end, the element will be added and from the other end, it will be removed. Now the element from where it will be removed is called front. See, front. And from the element where it will be added, it is called rear. So now the example is a line of people waiting to buy ticket. You might have seen the one who goes first to buy the ticket will be leaving it first. Okay. And the man who is standing back will be leaving last. Clear? To the link list, it's a sequence of data structure which are connected together via links. Each node in link list stores data and address of the next node. See here see this figure so here you see the data is stored here okay and the next field contains the pointer to the next node which is b okay clear so there are different types of link lists singly doubly so if you want in detail you can comment next is non-linear data structures as the name tells you the elements are not in the correct order in the random order the data is stored so they are tree graph hash tables what linear data structures, structures are now only I have told you it has been arranged in a random order. So could be connected to more than one element to reflect a special relationship among 
them. Now see how it is. First is tree. What trees do? Tree consists of various nodes. That is the root node and the several child nodes. So root node, consider this A is as a root node and B, D, E, C are the child nodes. It grows on level basis and root node have the limited child nodes depending on the order of the tree. This means if it's a binary tree, if it's a binary search tree, in that case, the root the nodes decide okay like if there are two nodes then it becomes binary tree okay balanced trees there are so many examples i'm not going in detail just to make you understand i've told that next is the graph a graph data structure consists of finite number of vertices and edges so vertices what it do it stores the element at the edges represent the relationship between the vertices see a and a b e this all are the vertices and the edges a to B, B to E, these are the edges. What it do? It shows the relationship that there exists a connection between the nodes A and B. The last one, hash tables. What it do? It, hash table is used to store keys or value pairs. It stores data in associative manner. It stores unique, unique, sorry, unique index value for each data value. Data access becomes fast. Okay. So see here, see in the figure how the data value correspond to the particular index so that the access becomes easy. I hope you are clear with the data structure topic. Thank you for watching the video. I will meet you in my next uh, video. Till then, bye.